Now we will cover converting your image to vector art. So first I'm going to get my image by going to File, Import. And we have our JPEG here. So this isn't 100% necessary, but if you'd like to convert it to grayscale first, just go to Image, Mode, Grayscale. And after you convert it to grayscale, you are going to go into the vectorize tool. So in order to get there, you go to your AccuScan icon, and that changes your smart bar up here. And once you have that selected, you can go to the posturize region button. And it'll ask you, do you want to run the prepare to vectorize wizard? Select yes. In the super size screen, five we find is usually plenty for right here. And then it'll bring up this preview screen. On the super size screen, uh, you can kind of play around with these settings if you want, depending on what you do. We'll give you a different preview over here. So you can kind of, you'll find out what works best for the art that you're trying to vectorize. So for this one, looks like the default looks good. So we'll just click OK. And as it's filtering the image here, it'll bring up a posturize screen. Here's your original, and here's your preview of your new. So you can see there's nothing here. So we're going to want to increase this black tolerance until we see the image the way we want it to. So that 100% gives you full black, not what we're looking for. So somewhere in this region looks pretty good. Depending on your image, you may also need to adjust these numbers down here. Every image is going to be a little bit different. So for our purposes, that looks good. And we'll just click OK. And then it'll bring up a trace setup screen. Again, you have some presets here that you can play around with. For the most part, for converting a logo or any of that kind of thing, this will work pretty good. Again, depending on the art, you may need to adjust some of these settings. But for our purposes, this should work. So we'll use the default logo, long lines and curves. Click OK. And now you have your vectorized art. So we're just going to select it. And you can see there's a white background on here that we want to get rid of. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on right click and then click on group. And now I can select that white background and delete it. And now I have my vector art. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better the crisp lines, and if I hit Alt-S, you can see the actual lines. So you can tell that it's vector art in outline mode. So say I am really picky and I want to make this a little smoother right here. I don't like how that vectorized. In order to adjust the individual nodes, and double click the piece I want. And once I double click that, it'll bring up our node view here. So in this view, I'd be able to go in and adjust these individual nodes, maybe smooth things out a little bit. And then when I click off of it, it's back to normal. So we will just select all and group it. And that is how you vectorize art.